I'm, I'm extremely overwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what happened? All right, it is Saturday morning. I am about to start loading up the bikes. I'm taking the little Suzuki Junior, the KTM, and we're gonna have some fun today. I am stoked. I just wanna make this abundantly clear here at the beginning of the video. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have zero experience. I've only ridden on the street, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. Because what's the point of owning a KTM 390 Adventure if you don't take it off-road, even though I've never done it before. If you want to know who to blame, it's this man right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Chris here in the blue and Ben in the black they both are the main culprits on getting me out on the dirt today, which I highly appreciate. So before I even get on the big boy track, I decided to get kind of acclimated by running the kids track with my son before I went and pushed myself a little harder. Even though I have 10 years of experience on motorcycles, I really don't ever ride on dirt. If, actually never. I've never gone on a trail with a dirt bike, so I thought this was going to be a fantastic learning experience. Okay, turning off the traction control. I don't know what I'm doing. It's going to be awful. And take a good look at it, because this is as good as this bike's going to look. Oh god. So, I've never ridden before. Holy moly. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, saved it. Saved it. Okay, I almost ate it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna try to get you on stuff like this that's not too deep, but we're gonna have to go through a little bit of deep stuff to get there. Okay. Now, I can't do what he does, but I'm just here to give a newbie's perspective on off-roading or track riding, single track riding, a KT, uh, KTM 390 Adventure. Ugh. I gotta loosen up a little bit. Oh. Trying to figure out what gear I should be in is a little more difficult. At the same time, I'm trying to pick my lines. The other time, I'm trying to resist the urge to jump because I don't have the skills to do it in. This is a whole different ball game that I was not ready for. But you know what? The little KTM is doing great. It's maybe because I'm ignorant and I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm having an absolute blast. This is a whole different perspective of motorcycling that I have ever 
never thought I would actually physically enjoy it. This is just amazing. You gotta get used to like the bike feeling really weird underneath you. Like it's just kind of just like traveling on sand the whole time. And, it, and the bike feels really weird. Like it just wants to wash out at any given time. But at the same time, you gotta really trust it and know when you gotta power through. Um, I'm, I'm extremely overwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm extremely overwhelmed, but at the same time, I'm having the time of my life. This is crazy. This is insane. I need a minute. Holy I don't know when I jumped. I don't know how I'm still up, but this thing's like awesome. It's keeping up. With my slow yeah, it yeah, this was crappy. I'm like, I'm doing a bunch of clutch work. It's insane how much clutch work you got to do. Are you in first gear? I, I bounce between first and second. Yeah, it's just, it's like overwhelming. Like, oh, dude, I can't do that. And then I try to just power through it, and I'm just waiting for the bike to drop. And so I'm just telling myself, it's going to fall anyways, so just try to make it through. But, I mean, it's great. It's a lot of fun. So, is learning... How to position yourself on the bike and transfer your weight is also something else that I'm kind of discovering that makes a difference being out here. I'm going to try to keep it in second gear. I'm having a hard time distinguishing when I should be in first gear or second gear. And ironically, oh, speed is the, oh, is the, is the key here. And relaxing your arms. Don't tense them up too much. If you tense up the arms too much, you're gonna warm out pretty quick too. So, <sighs> and I don't know the track too, so it's like I want to pick up speed, but I have very little riding experience. Uh, these tires are awful. The ones that are out of the box. Oh, hit myself with my visor. Uh, this is amazing. This this old bike, like, I I can see why people like it now. I can see why they like it now. And uh, I'm really happy that I bought one. Now I am setting up a little more, uh, creating extra suspension. I took the, the difficult route. Regrets? Uh, uh, that's a lot of work. Okay. Whew. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow, let me tell you. Uh.
But what's strangely enough is I have very little single track experience. Like none. <laughs> I have a good understanding of things work and how things work. But I'm 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 doing okay and I'm keeping a decent pace. And I think whoo 90% of it is this this bike right here and the other 10% is my riding skill, my current riding skill, which is not that good. I'm so through my thighs. You need a break? Yeah, I need a little breather. Uh, I don't want to turn it off because if I turn it off, I have to do all the traction control stuff again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so, this is really fun. This little section here is a little more technical, but it's fun. I so think. I mean, you've seen how I've been riding so far. Yeah, I think you'll do okay. So, the, just on stuff like this, don't go, like, you'll be fine. Just, like, come up to it and then just let go of the brakes and go over it. You'll be fine. I think this is probably, like, the only ledge. And that's probably not even a real ledge. Let me look at it. Uh, just this right here. Yeah. Yeah. This thing's killing it. Alright, whatever it is, let me know when you're ready. No pressure. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, you'll be fine. It just gets a little narrower. But you'll be okay. Okay, I'll watch you go. Turn. Oh. Oh. Definitely needs some better tires for this thing. Uh, engine braking is phenomenal coming down and just riding the first gear. Uh, uh. And if anything, I feel like I need to slow down my my suspension a little bit but I'm not bottoming out uh, granted I only weigh 160 pounds oh this is he wasn't kidding this is super technical and there's probably some techniques I should I'm going to start practicing here. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, dude, this thing's so good. This bike is so good. And you know, Chris over here, he's you know, he's lifting his front wheel pretty good. And he's doing some pretty proper stuff. And I'm just slowing down on that super technical stuff. I don't have that skill set yet. You know, that's okay to just slow down and just kind of take it at your own pace. And that's one thing he told me. It's like, hey, just take it at your own pace. If I disappear, I'll come back and find you. Uh, this is a really good way to build up some skill. Let me say, everybody should go and do this once in their life. If, especially if you're into motorcycles, you should definitely go do stuff like this. 
at least once in your life. <laughs> I got in the <laughs> Okay, this is my first hill climb. Let's go. Let's go. Wheel speed, wheel speed, wheel speed, wheel speed. There we go. I, <coughs> I just got in the rhythm of following you and I didn't think about what I was lining up for. Yeah. That was a, that's a pretty good hill climb. Yeah. You good? Oh, I'm great. All right, now. I'm gonna say a couple times I locked up the front the ABS kept me from like washing out, which is really cool. <laughs> Saved it! Saved it! Okay, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Whoo! Whoo! What is he doing? He's he's brapping? Yeah, I'm not I'm not ready for that. I think this bike's too heavy. Take it easy now. Whoo! <laughs> Chris! I should have gone in the rut, I didn't. <sighs> you know, I see Chris do some really cool stuff and I'm like, I want to do that. And I gotta remember, I'm not Chris. See this thing, this, this bike is absolutely insane. My first experience out of the dirt track was absolutely amazing. Everybody was friendly, everybody was nice. And I have to give a special shout out to Ben and Chris. Ben helped me out a lot with my son out of the kids track. And Chris was a really good teacher to kind of follow through the main trail and kind of keep me from making some pretty bad mistakes. I did let Chris take the KTM out on the main track while Ben and I were hanging out with my son on the kids track. And I got I got to interview him on his perspective on the little 390 adventure and I thought it was a, it was a pretty good experience overall. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, no. I've got maybe 10 years of riding experience. On big bikes, I got a 640 adventure and I learned on a DRZ. I started riding when I was about 30. I'm like 40 now or something. Um, 
So I'm not like the fastest, best rider. I have fear. I'm not like one of these guys that rode since they were 12 and has no fear, but I'm okay. Spent a lot of time in Colorado, New Mexico, doing trails, um, stuff like that. Um, so, and then I have real dirt bikes now um, instead of the dual sports. I like the lighter weight stuff, but uh, I got a chance to ride this around here, which it's not really technical, but it's a lot of good burmy, sandy corners and things like that. Um, a few jumps, um, nothing huge, but a few jumps. Not really any hill climbs. There are no rocks out here, but uh, I like this guy a lot. Uh, it, it didn't feel its weight. You know, I don't know what its weight is, but um, I know it's heavier than a dirt bike, but it didn't really feel it on the trail. It's got the, the dual sport tires. I don't know what they are, 50, 50, or maybe the 30, 70 or something. Yeah. Um, so especially in the sand and the, the few muddy spots out here, you could really feel the front tires or the front tire especially wanting to kind of wash out under you. Um, which actually, that's an interesting point. I know I locked the front tire up. I grabbed too much brake going to a couple corners and I really got crossed up a bit and it started wanting to plow. And so I know I grabbed too much front brake and uh, I couldn't feel the ABS at all, um, but I didn't go down. So I think that's, probably speaking pretty good to how they have this ABS tune because I didn't feel it and I didn't I didn't wipe out and I know I grabbed too much front brake with that tire um, so that's pretty cool um, the suspension felt pretty good I mean going faster through some whoops and things like that you could start feeling it not be happy um, but I think if you're riding this bike that fast through stuff, I mean, it doesn't have the suspension travel and the, it's got the weight, you're pushing it too hard, I think. If you ride this thing kind of the way it's meant to be ridden, um, suspension's really good. Um, and yeah, it, it just, it felt, it felt really awesome. Is the, the power was really cool, you know, it wanted to rev and um, yeah, good jump, jumped it a little bit and uh, yeah, had fun with it. Uh, really appreciate you letting me ride it. Oh, thank you for inviting me out here and introducing me to a whole new addiction that's gonna run me broke. Yeah, it's funner. It's funner than the street, for sure. I I am actually I, in in agreement with you. It's definitely funner, more fun than the street. Yeah, getting to slide around and jump and go up big hill climbs and stuff like that. It's just there's nothing else like it, man. And then you're training yourself to have the skills to go ride the really gnarly stuff in Colorado and do like five mountain passes in a day and pass a thousand Jeeps that are in a traffic jam. Oh yeah. That... Or, or be on the single track where you don't even see Jeeps. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Well, sweet. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. It was fun.